Hi, my name is Ken Carnosh, and uh, I've been fishing for all my life pretty much and been fly fishing for 40 or 50 years, really got into about the last 20 or so years. Uh, fly fishing seems to be a lot of fun and fly tying is along with it too. Uh, the fly I'm going to be tying today is called a March Brown Soft Hackle and the March Brown Mayfly is pretty predominant on the local rivers in March, April, May of each year and so this fly is one that we'll use there. So I'm going to start out by uh, wrapping orange thread on the thing here, getting it started. Trim off the tag here. Tie in a, uh, a rib of a, a light uh, copper wire. Wrap the thread all the way back to the bend of the hook. Okay, then I'm going to be dubbing on a body on this. Uh, start out with putting a little wax on the thread. I'm using the hair's ear dubbing, which is basically the hair off of a rabbit. And I use the light colored stuff for, for the body. Get a little bit more wax on my fingers since they don't hold on to it very well. Take just a little bit of, of this to do what we need to do with this. And I'll wrap this forward here and uh, The body on a on a March Brown is really fairly fairly slim, so you don't want to dub too much hair on there. And that's just about right there. Take my ribbing and I counter wrap that so it kind of holds the stuff onto the hook here. About four wraps or so. The wire serves really two purposes there. One of them, as I mentioned, is to hold the, the stuff on the hook, but it also, each of, the, each of the nymphs that you see have a little segment in the body and the wire helps to identify those segments there. Then I'm gonna dub just a little bit of, a little bit darker dubbing Again, it's a hare's ear, but it's a darker hare's ear. Um, this is going to help hold that soft hackle up a little bit. And uh, we'll be able to see that here pretty quickly. Okay. Then the actual soft hackle is a feather from a Hungarian partridge and I've taken the feather and stripped off the soft stuff off of it and bent it back like this so it's easier to tie in. Tie it in right up here. Trim off the excess here. Hold the feather hackles back a little bit as we go. You're not looking for a whole lot of, of uh, hackles on this, so about two wraps is all you need to have. Tie that off. Trim the excess. And we'll wrap a, a head on this here. And I like to finish the head on mine by putting a couple of half hitches on it. And 
And then we also do a whip finish, and there is a tool to do this, but uh, I never learned how to use one of those, so I just do it by hand here. And that is the March Brown Soft Tackle Fly. And I also like to take a little bit of, uh, it's either head cement, or if you're cheap like I am, you just go buy a bottle of clear fingernail polish. Just put a little bit of dab on there. And that is the March Brown Soft Tackle tied with the orange thread. Uh, the orange head gives a little bit of extra visibility in the water. Plus, when it gets wet, the orange in the body will show through as well. You can also tie it in a, just using brown thread. And this is one that's tied using brown thread. So either one of those. It's a great fly to use in March, April, May along our local rivers for trout. Lying green hills are home.